is now is just how they get this for real. Really, what you well, what it is is, is you have an infection around the cuticle there. Okay. So it, this could have happened. You could have had a little, uh, you know, cuticle. Uh, area that you picked at okay. or, or maybe you were working with a, a cuticle tool and pushed too far back or something okay. but what it is somehow or another a bacteria has gotten under the skin okay. and is reproducing in your body done. Well, well. those are my real nails are those are your real nails uh -huh. i just get dipped uh -huh. i just got left out of the conversation mm -hmm. as soon as it went to nails i was out i'm sorry mm -hmm. okay so what we're going to do is we're going to numb up your finger, and then we're going to take a scalpel. We're going to open it up and drain that. And it's going to numb the whole part. Yes, that's correct. The, yes, that's what we're we're hoping for. Oh, that's what I'm hoping for too. You're hoping <laughs> for that also. Oh, thank you, Kenny. I already got one done. So this is we're going to do the shot right there and right there. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Little stick sting a burn. Burn. Sorry. There you go. Almost done. Son you of a biscuit! Oh my God! Did that? That stung a little bit. Oh! The medicine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. For a second there, I thought we were going to be treated to an expletive. <laughs> but no. She scared me. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to wait just a I'll moment. I'll keep it PG rated. That's no. Hey, Ooh, listen. I, I was I, waiting on. I was like, whoa. I can, I can beep it right out. Yeah. No, you're fine. You're, I am, I'm used there's to. There's a lot you of research out there. There's, I have a lot of there's research out there that words. that says <laughs> that, that says that by you know by at the moment of intense pain, if you use an expletive, it makes the pain not hurt as much. That's true. Did you know? Really? That? Yes, it is. All right, we're going to get the other side now. Right there. See the spot? All right, little stick. A little more in there. I think you did good. I think you're doing great. Right. Yes. It does. Okay. Looks like you have snake bites. Yeah, it kind of does. A little snake bites there. I feel like I can't stretch out my finger. Is that normal? Yeah, that's pretty normal. Why don't you look over that way? <laughs> this is number 11 blade. We're just going to make a little incision here. And we're seeing... you, you might feel, feel pain little, or you might feel, feel pressure? A little pressure, but you should not feel pain. Oh, I'm fine. There we go. Yeah, a little bit right there. <clears throat> you feeling pressure or pain? Um, I don't feel too much of anything. I feel mostly at the very tip of my finger. The very tip, huh? Oh, yeah, right there. Oh my. Easy does it. Mm -hmm. Why don't you take a look at your finger? No, because I faint. Do you faint? Yes. yes. We don't want her to faint, do we? No, I faint. I bet you just do fine. Good. If you have any more problems, you're going to let us know, okay? You got it. All right. And we'll get you back to your wonderful, exciting life. Oh my God. Of being a noodle. Yes. <laughs> panini. A panini. The best kind. A good panini. You're terrific. Thanks for letting us record your procedure. And uh, about a week ago, actually, and it was kind of like right there, and it was really bothering me, so I pulled it. In the process, it really did hurt. And it's gotten swollen, but just today I noticed right there a little bit of yellowish. That's pus right there. And usually when I go to do a patient, I don't numb it or anything. I tell them that's not going to hurt because we're going right there to drain it. And uh, I just want to show that it's a very minor procedure. It really doesn't hurt as I do it on myself. Enjoy. All right, so I've already kind of cleaned it with an alcohol swab. I definitely don't want to introduce any emergency room bacteria into my finger. And you see that spot with the numbing. Now I'm right-handed, so this is gonna be a little shaky going in. But if I can do it with the left hand, I can do it with anything, all right? And there's the spot with the pus. It's a big 18 gauge needle. And this is not supposed to hurt. No pain so far. A little bit of discomfort right then. And then there it is. Didn't hurt at all. Got some nice pus out. There's still some there. All right. So I think this should heal. Um, no antibiotics needed. That should find a way out, and I should get better soon. And this sweet lady has a paronychia here. And tell us again how you did this. I was working in the yard. I had no idea. Working in the yard. 
Oh, I wish I had a dollar for every time somebody told me they got hurt working in the yard. Pulling weeds. Well, did you get them all pulled? No, I stuck my <laughs> other hand with a nail. Yeah, you had a rough day, didn't you? Okay, so you've been on antibiotics for a couple of days, right? Right. All right. Get my scalpel. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to relieve this. This is a perinicchia. You can see that we have an infection on the side of the nail. It is not an ingrown nail. We're not going to use any lidocaine or anesthetic except for our cold spray. We're going to make a quick incision. Go. Just like that. Ooh, Ooh. Out. Beautiful. More. You'll feel so much better instantly. I'm hurting or just a little bit tender? No, it hurts, but... It hurts, but you're tough. You're tough. You're so tough. Yes. <laughs> That's all you're going to need right there. Exactly. And we're going to put a little dressing on there for you. Now, don't put any more Neosporin on this, okay? I don't want that to plug back up. We want that to oh. go ahead and drain. Oh, okay. You can soak it in some... Uh, Epsom salts or salt water or soapy water, whatever you want to do is fine. Do that a couple of times a day for a few days and you should be golden. Keep, uh, be sure you take all your antibiotics, okay? Okay. I have only seven. She said that That's because plenty. at the time there mm -hmm. was. Uh, you keep so talking. now uh, today I will take the third one. Good. Very good. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. So what we have here is a paronychia of the second toe. Uh, paronychia is an infection of the cuticle around the nail. Uh, usually it happens from trauma, from cutting the nails too tight, or from an ingrow toenail like the patient was worried about. We don't really know if it's an ingrow toenail or not, it's very possible it is. Um, but the initial treatment is still going to be the same, to, to, to drain the abscess so the infection can get better and possibly, you know, you know, uh, teach the patient about the treatment of ingrow toenails and what to do about that. Like I was explaining to the patient, the area around the nail is relatively insensitive and if you watch another one of my videos you'll see that it's really non-tender to do that. As long as you come from the medial side, the lateral sides of the toes are very sensitive so they have a lot of pains, fibers and things like that. So you actually go right next against the nail and then you dab the skin right there. And you can see right away we start getting the pus and stuff coming out. The patient was mostly concerned about the squeezing part of it so I'm going to try to be as gentle as possible. So you can see that very minimal touching and it's coming right out. How are we doing buddy? Uh -huh. <laughs> he said his pain was 10 out of 10 before we start so it can't be any worse. Right? So the drainage part of it, that's it. That's all we really have to do. Because uh, we've opened a way for even that little bit of pus to come out. That's it. So that's it for the procedure of the drainage. Now, the other considerations is the infection. We talked about the rest of the toe. It's red around it, and he's worried about what caused it, which is an ingrow tona. Couple ways to treat them. The simplest way to treat this is to cut your nail in an angle so they can grow out without being stuck to the skin. So you take a nail cutter, and you try to get behind it and cut it kind of like in like that. Medically, we could always do a digital block, put a needle, numb the whole toe, and then put cotton and lift the nail up and leave the cotton underneath. Or we can let it go. We treat the paronychia, we'll treat the antibiotics, we'll recheck you in 48 hours, see how you're doing, and then decide if we need any kind of other procedures. So like I said, especially you being diabetic, see a podiatrist, you know. Um, let me clean you up. getting the excess of that iodine now. Right. So he's going to get a shot of ceftriaxone, which is an antibiotic, and put him on more antibiotics, give you some pain medicine and stuff like that. And uh, somebody will need to see you in the next 48 hours to make sure it's healing. Hey folks, this is Watson. I just wanted to let you know but there is now a one-year supply of Meta7 available on Amazon at a huge discounted price. That's right, get America's best energy supplement for a bigger discount than ever. 
Retail price on four bottles is 360 bucks. Get it on Amazon for only 260 while supplies last. That's $100 off the retail price. Pick up yours today, it won't last long. Also, check out Dr. Gilmore's seven piece kit, available on Amazon for under $20. It's got a leather case and it's compact in size, good for traveling. See link below.